Sago is increasingly recognized for its biodynamic wines. The company is passionate about the environment and promoting sustainable wine practices, producing biodynamic wine. We will take a look at the issues that we have to address in our task to advise Mr. Jim Fetzer on the overall sustainability of Siego as they commit to the biodynamic route. To ensure sustainability, there are two aspects we have to address, namely financial sustainability in which we have to raise awareness about the benefits of biodynamic wine and what it truly means. Next, we have to engage customers in Siego's environmental commitment and convince them to make it their own. We have to ensure environmental sustainability as part of Siego's commitment and this can be done through using eco-friendly materials in the construction of Siego's spa resorts. To address the challenges mentioned, we first analyse the stakeholders involved. For Siego Vine Garden, their primary interests are to meet sustainability objectives through its winemaking processes, increase reputation of Siego as a producer of biodynamic wines, increase awareness of consumers' knowledge of biodynamic wines and to stay financially sustainable. For Siego's employees, a good working environment. Next, we have Siego's customers who would most probably want good tasting quality wines and wines that will suit their needs and wants. And for the governing bodies such as the Lake County Planning Commission, ensuring environmental sustainability. Our proposal includes a hotel, residential houses, a spa, a restaurant which utilizes Siego's biodynamic herbs and spices in the cuisines as far as possible, recreation and programs such as wine workshops and winery tours, and services as well like event hosting. These various investment projects will be allocated a specific percentage of the initial investment of $150 million as shown in the pie chart. This development plan we propose will span across 5 years starting from now, 2006, in which we will embark on the journey to build the hotels, residences and the spa facilities. In the next phase, we will be able to develop the restaurant, after which we plan to implement services, recreation and programs in the later phase in year 2010. The proposal will serve to meet the triple bottom line of people, profit and planet which will be discussed along the way. In this proposal, we will be focusing on the two important aspects, which is recreation and programs and services that Siego can provide to its future prospective customers. First, we have winemaking workshops, which also allows customers to bring a bottle of wine back after the workshop. This allows customers to learn more about biodynamic winemaking and its practices and gain insights of the entire process through this hands-on session. Next, we have culinary workshops where customers will learn how to incorporate biodynamic wine into their daily cooking and this might spark the interest of biodynamic wines to more people. This program will not only be able to capture the wine enthusiast market but also the household market and this might translate into sales for Siego. Also, as part of our efforts in educating people to change their perception of biodynamic wines, we propose having winery tours catering to private and corporate groups who are planning a stay at the resort and for people who are coming down to Siego just for the tour. This includes a wine tasting room which allows them to experience biodynamic wines for themselves. According to a survey conducted at University of California, 15.1% of the respondents feel that a tour of the vineyard will help them learn more about biodynamic wines, while 22.8% feel that wine tasting will help. These winery tours will allow the exposure of Siego Vine Gardens to more people, and with the increased publicity, people will be able to taste and experience the difference between biodynamic wines and other types of wines. The target segment for this program includes households, corporate groups, wine enthusiasts, and schools. We will be promoting via Siego's website and begin the launch by promoting to specific corporate companies. Once it is being exposed to corporate groups and their employees, it becomes a promotion network when individuals are aware of the tours and are able to promote and share with their personal networks by word of mouth. Our projected sales target would be to conduct the workshops twice a week, possibly during the weekends when families and professionals have time off, and for the tours, we aim to have a 60% booking rate in every month. To facilitate the workshops and tours, we will require additional manpower. There are other costs as well, such as the cost of workshop facilities and other overhead costs. Let us now analyse the risks and benefits to our various stakeholders. 
Firstly, for Siego Wine Garden, the tours and wine workshops will educate consumers on both the benefits of biodynamic wines and promote a sustainable environment. This meets both the environmental and financial challenges. Through these workshops, we aim to entice Siego's customers to identify with Siego's commitments and make it their own. With customers that identify with Siego, it will build customer relationships and form a fixed customer base, contributing to the financial sustainability of Siego. This environmental benefit for Siego will carry on for the community and governing bodies as these benefits include ensuring a sustainable environment. Also, since these programs require additional manpower, it will create job opportunities for the local community. Siego, the community as well as the governing bodies all face the same risk. The overtouring of the area, that it may ruin the sustainability cycle in Siego. Hence, to mitigate this risk, we have chosen limited target groups instead of a massive promotional campaign. Customers will benefit, as they will be able to seek and experience a greater variety through these tours and wine sampling sessions, as well as understanding biodynamic wine. Employees will also benefit from a variation of dynamic job scope. Next, we propose that Siego provide services such as event hosting, for instance, corporate events or even weddings. With that, a wine customization service can be provided where customers can configure their own wine for the events. As mentioned previously, 22.8% feels that wine tasting will help them learn more about biodynamic wines. With the hosting of events, Siego's biodynamic wines will be exposed to a lot more people, allowing them to experience biodynamic wines for themselves. The target segment for this proposed service program will be corporate groups and couples and their events will transform into secondary advertising platforms for Siego and their wines. The primary advertising platform will be Siego's website, Facebook and Twitter. Our projected sales target for this proposed idea would be about 3% of the total cases of wine sold a year, which is about 2,880 bottles of wine. There are various risks and benefits to our stakeholders in this proposed idea. Through event hosting, Siego will be able to educate consumers on the benefits of biodynamic wines and promote a sustainable environment. Also, Siego will be financially sustainable. However, Siego and the community might face a problem of over-touring. To overcome this, we will limit the event booking rate. For the community and customers, they will be able to enjoy a larger variety and selection of wines catered to their preferences with wine customization. Similar to the above mentioned, Siego's employees will be able to enjoy a dynamic job scope. So we have taken a look at the issues that Siego is facing today, as well as done the stakeholders analysis, come out with the proposal, allocated investment, taken a look at the timeline that we intend to implement this project, as well as address the triple bottom line. We've then come out with the proposal, which includes the hotel, residences, spa, restaurant, recreation and programs as well as services, focusing mainly on the recreation and programs as well as services. We looked in depth for the recreation and programs as well as services, focusing specifically on the wine workshops, culinary workshops and wine tours for programs as well as event hosting and wine customization for our services. We've covered product configuration, target segment, promotion, sales target, and analyze the risk and benefits to the various stakeholders. All in all, with the development of the spa, a restaurant, the residential houses, and the recreation and programs, as well as the hotel and services like event hosting, we believe that Siego's biodynamic route will be a sustainable and secured one. <laughs>